Another big move in General Electric's push for profitability. According to the Wall Street Journal, the struggling conglomerate is nearing a deal to sell its large industrial engines unit to a private equity firm for $3 billion. The sale would bring in an influx of cash, which, according to former GE executive Bob Nardelli, is something com the company desperately needs. He talked to Maria on this program about the future of GE last week. People ask me, well, what would you do? I'd say, well, I'd do something. <laughs> right. You know, you got to do something. And they, they did the transportation deal, but that cash doesn't come in until next year. So somebody's got to take a hard look. You know, you saw J.P. Morgan uh, analysts take a look at this, and that they're going to be short on cash. You know, they still have about $4.2 billion of dividends to, to, to kick out, even though they've cut it in half. Wow. So cash is king, and, and they're going to have to really, you know, they talk about 20, am I right, James, $20 billion of disposition. you got to get after it. John, what does this sale mean for GE, and what about the road ahead? Well, I mean, it's a tough road ahead. What's, what, what really strikes me about the sale is these are two fairly recent acquisitions. One was uh, acquired, one of the companies that they're, that they're selling was acquired in 2003. The other was acquired in 2010. So this is a company that's really adrift. I mean, fairly recent acquisitions they're turning around and getting rid of, getting rid of. as Bob Nardelli said, they seem to need cash. So this isn't, this isn't just a company that's got structural problems, but potentially cash problems, and that's a dangerous What about cutting the dividend even more, if, that's a, if it's still a cash drain? Well, that's something, that, that's something that you always have to look at when you're short of cash. You have to look at cutting dividends, absolutely. Just uh, let's not forget, too, that's going to be removed from the Dow. It's been on the Dow since 1907, but GE... No, it was, a ri it was an original Dow member, and it was removed twice yeah, after that. Right. It was but originally in the Dow. Now it's gone again, but industrials, is it often overlooked? They made $10 billion in industrials just last year, so I read a report over the weekend saying that it's still undervalued, the industrial sector, and we don't talk about it enough in regards to... Because um, I know they're going to be spinning off some assets, too, so that's something that... But uh, again, th this, this, this shows how adrift the company is. These are two industrial businesses that they're getting rid of. Right. So, so what's left of GE? It's kind of hard to figure out, figure that out. So you don't point. think that there's anything going forward? Like, what do you think would be left, the bare bones of GE? Well, that that's what you have to wonder. What, <laughs> right. like, so they're, they're they're spinning off all the all the finance stuff, and now they're selling industrial stuff. That it's it's a company that's breaking apart. Well, John, let's point out. Sorry, Richard. Well, I, mean, I think that's the, that's the question, right? Because I mean, you think of GE, you think of an American Titan, and mm -hmm. as I think you look at the politics of it. I mean, for them, you're sort of sad that this infrastructure bill that President Trump promised when he first ran didn't happen, because then they'd at least been hopefully making train engines or something. But what what's the new company look like? That's right. That's right. I, all asking I, I, I don't want to say. I, I was going to raise the issue is like that's actually something that we stopped talking about was yeah. the was the infrastructure bill because that's not huge. going right. anywhere <laughs> he's gonna he'll end up blaming congress for that by the way because again 25 billion dollars for the wall blame us <laughs> well that was a, if i used to make i used to joke or uh, about president obama every time he gave a speech on the economy i think every single economic speech he gave over eight years he mentioned infrastructure spending that was one thing he brought up and that was where you did get crossover between President Trump and President Trump. Oh, yeah, and I, listen, I think, I mean, in the, in the context of GE and I think a lot of other manufacturing companies like them, industrial titans, if the president had sort of flipped the deck a little bit and put infrastructure first, GE probably wouldn't have been in this well, situation. With putting aside the, the politics of whether there's an infrastructure bill or, or not, this is an economy right now that's growing very fast. And this is a, an, a, an economy where business investment is really rising. That ought to play into a company like GE's strengths. And General Electric is, is just adrift because they're not capturing the head, the, the tailwinds of that, the kind of business investment that we're seeing right, all I, over the economy. Just really quickly, I want to point out that GE is caught in the crossfire between, the, in the trade fight between the United States and China. The Journal, you're, you guys are all over these stories this morning. If tariffs go into effect on Chinese imports next month as planned, it's going to hurt two of the companies' uh, plants that make MRI machines, um, since the equipment could include Chinese parts. That's another issue. And President Trump is not backing down on this. Well, and again, this brings me back to this whole thing, the, the point that I'm making about export right. controls is really, tough, is really tough to do. We're trying to block uh, Chinese advancement in certain, in certain technologies, but these are areas where Americans have strength and we want to be selling to China. You know, the, the <laughs> Chinese are saying, you know, they, they're, they're talking... We're talking about demands that the Chinese buy $200 billion more, worth more of U.S. goods. And then on the other hand, we're saying we're not going to sell you our, our most valuable products.
So what is it? We will continue to discuss.